All right, couple of uh, Wyndham Manly greats. <laughs> Peter, Hi, Travis, how are you? Good, thank Crab, you. How you going, mate? Manshake. A bit limp. <laughs> Peter Garvin. Okay. Older brother of Charlie. Charlie. Winger. Winger. He's a front rower. Yeah. What happened? Uh, I don't know, he used to be like a short little nugget. You know, he's like a little bit taller, but he was always on his litter. Can you just slow, down, just slow down a little bit when you talk, please? Just a bit clearer so we can understand exactly what you're saying. Yeah, all right. Great. I don't feel nervous anymore. <laughs> right, Burnsy. <Burnsie. laughs> hey, Trav, um, you've got plenty of nicknames. Yep. Chinese, third degree, Montgomery. Yep. What's your favourite yeah. third degree? Uh, Monty, probably. Monty? Yeah. Yeah. Is that what they call you? Uh, no, I, yeah, third degree was one, but yeah. carpet, carpet, what? Oh, carpet burn. No, I don't really that. I've had a few of my time. Sun, yeah, it's a good one. No. What's the best one? I don't know. I used to be called Rook at Manly. All right, now, you, now you've got a few superstitions. Yeah. So if someone scores a try. Tell, tell, tell me what happens. Uh, I don't know, like just stuff pops into my head, like um, everyone will be celebrating like in the sort of end goal and yeah. I'll wait like behind on the like infield of the try line. Yeah. Like so I'm just like leaning across the try line to like high five people. Uh, Why? What's, what's, what do you think is going to happen? It's the fear of like what does happen, like say if I like, and uh, when I'm getting ready for a game, if I get my set up wrong and then I like roll my ankle or something, I come off and I think what did I do wrong? That sort of trigger stuff. It's more the fear of what might happen. Right. That's pretty weird. <laughs> There'll be room on the segment for Gabby. Absolutely. We could do a live cross every. Would it be packed? Yeah, we could <laughs> go through the. Uh, yeah, how the much intro. We could go through the intro super couple yeah. 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 Do you want to do live to Gabby? Seriously. Yeah. Can you give? Could you do us a, a report? Like every week. So we just finished this round of footy. Yeah. Just a quick wrap up of, of who played well and. Games. Maybe don't have to do it now. Just we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll continue this maybe next week. But also, we always we got to sign, sign off with a bit of message. Yeah. So just practice that. Like I'm going to. Uh, maybe give me a couple of minutes. I think that might come back to it. Okay. That's fair enough. <laughs> what would you like to do? If you could have a job, what would be what would be your job you'd like to? Do? Your job. This one? Yeah. It's yeah. Pretty good. yeah. Like Something like that. Where are you going? Uh, no. What would your ideal job be? Um, until I was about 18, I wanted to be a groundsman, which is like, that's not a lie. And then from about 18 to 28, I wanted to be a um, NRL trainer, like get everyone fit and strong. Have you maybe try and get the strength and conditioning here? Stepping stone, would you like to do that? Nah, like I sort of moved away from that, like just being around it, I realised maybe that's not what I want anymore. What about life after football? Um, I think I'd be a good policeman. I think I'm pretty fair. Yeah? But I can also be like a real idiot. So I'd be... What would you do? Okay, let's just, it's um, a hypothetical, yes, yeah. no. <laughs> I've, um, you're a policeman? Yeah. I'm in my car? Yeah. And I've got f all these f all these yeah. Blaring, yeah. and I say, "Hey, pig, <laughs> sit on this. What would you do to me?" And like, this is no one's gonna know. Yeah. Would you arrest me for that? Oh, hey, buddy, wind your window down. No, oh, yeah, because I've got Brian Fletcher. I'm gonna let it slide. <laughs> <laughs> who, who, who's the man you look to to, to get your side going? Gubby. Gubby. Uh, Travis. No, like no. going forward or? Yeah. Well, Gubby's a, Gubby's a, he's a good set starter. Dummy half front? Got no brains, just runs hard. Yeah. Don't like running from dummy half. So. You like getting a one off the run? Yeah. Right? Let's love getting belted. Do you really? <laughs> you like getting whacked? <laughs> Do they pull your hair? Um, every now and then, like once or twice a season. Not every game? And it's usually the toughest guy on the other team that does that, which sucks. Can't do anything about it. Tell you what, this is, I'm going to say this, we've done about 100 interviews, this is my favourite Yeah, easy. You probably say that every time. No, we don't say it. Good man. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah, Thanks, Gabby. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. You've killed them. You have, mate. You've brained them. Thanks, I don't know what that was.
day, Brian Fletcher, Nathan Hindmarsh here. Come and see us, 11th of August, at the Wynnum Manly Seagulls Leagues Club. Yep, get your tickets on sale there on the Facebook page, Wynnum Manly Seagulls. So come along. What's going to happen? What do you expect? Uh, we're going to see, hopefully, Peter Gubb. Ah, uh, yes. That's all I'm looking forward to, actually. So he's going to be our special guest. Um, You're going to tell a few stories about why you hate JT? Well, everyone knows why I hate J JT. Well, they don't. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell a story or two there. Okay. Um, what are you going to say? Russell Crowe. Oh, you got a Russell Crowe story? I've got a Russell Crowe. I don't really tell this story to many people north of the border, but I think uh, Peter Gubb demands it. He does. So we'll see you then, 11th of August. That was really long.